Now, the Industrial and Commercial Workers Union has warned government to respect a memorandum of understanding with labor unions or risk more industrial unrest. According to the ICU, failure to implement dictates of these MOUs could further ruin the trust and trigger bad faith between government and unions. General Secretary of ICU Solomon Kote spoke with our correspondent Daniel Opoku in Accra. General Secretary of ICU Solomon Kote expressed concern about strikes which may occur from January next year. He cited the Health Services Workers Union, Clocksack, and other unions who are demanding increment. He charged government to respect the MOUs signed with the unions or risk more strikes from next year. In any union or confederation that shy away from strike, we don't know what they believe. We don't know what their doctrine in labor is. Because in the law, the right to strike is there. And the prescription to do it legally equally is also there. We will say that our brothers who have signed this MOU and these things are not happening, they should take the legal strikes to actually get their demand press home. Currently, San Labor unions have asked their members not to demand increases from their employers. These union know members who are in the private sector are heated up to ask for more going into 2020. But the General Secretary of ICU, Solomon Kotei, asked employers to indicate how demands of workers will be met. The National Union, we are also looking for a very turbulent negotiations. Mm -hmm. Because in the last two years, I can tell you, we, without any fear of favor, that we have gone to most companies who have negotiated 0%. And this 0%, I want to use this medium to appreciate the workers who understood the challenges of the employers. And therefore, as we speak, some two years, three years, no increases have come on their salary. But they are compelled also to retain the same salary that they have been earning since 2017 and facing the blunt of increases on other taxes that have come, you know, you know, overall. Solomon Kota again charged government to indicate how it will deal with job losses in the banking sector. He again raised issues with regard to inflation, pensions and construction of roads that he wants government to address. Labor is discussing that the new denominations, the 100 Ghana and the 200 Ghana, what will be its effect okay, on the economy itself. We will see these ones. On, on theory, it could be explained that, oh, it will make mobility of money very simple. But that tells us that too many you know, monies are chasing fewer goods, and therefore you want to buy something that is 10 cities. You see the volumes you are carrying. Of a major concern to Solomon Kota are taxes imposed on clothing by government. We've been clamoring against overtime tax, we have been clamoring against uh, clothing allowance, we have been taxed, we have been clamoring against these uh, uh, rent, you know, taxes and all that that the ordinary worker is actually carrying on. Whether or not this government to bring the relief to these areas or leave them as it is or add the burden. And in fact, when these things happen, it will allow labor to rear its ugly head in this particular, you know, direction.